Hey, I'm Mike Brooks. We're in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen once again with our good buddy, Chef Valerie from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. We're talking about the importance of intact grains, whole grains. Mm -hmm. School me on this because I don't know very much. And even with quinoa, you know, I pronounced it the old person way. <laughs> yeah. Quinoa. Quinoa. Okay. Quinoa. Okay, so yes, whole grains, intact grains. Whole grains can be ground into a flour, and that is the big distinction. So with an intact grain, you are keeping the bran and the germ and the endosperm all intact, and so that means that you're going to have, um, it's going to give you more fiber, mm -hmm. and it raises your blood sugar less when you eat it. So it's very important to get a variety of intact grains. Um, so with pilaf, which is what we're making today. Pilaf, okay. Yes. yes. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just repeating what you're saying okay. because I don't know what pilaf is. Okay, so pilaf is, <laughs> you might be more familiar with rice pilaf. I think most people okay. have had rice pilaf at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that's just going to be sauteed onion and garlic. You add the grain, either water or stock, and you steam it like you would a traditional steamed intact grain. Yeah. Um, but pilaf is a method, so you can use any kind of grain. So quinoa, we can use that. Okay. We can use brown rice. Mm -hmm. We can use farro, which we're going to use today. And so we already have our onion and garlic that have been sautéed in a little bit of canola oil. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and add the grain right in. And you might want to give that a stir. And so this is another thing that you can do with um, pilaf is that you can actually add the grain and toast it a little so that it gets a really nice toasty flavor. Mm, yeah. yeah, so in that oil. So if you were just going to steam um, any kind of grain, you might just add the water and the grain together and you would bring it to a boil and steam it. But you won't have that caramelization or that toastiness of the toasted grain. A little extra flavor. Yes, a yeah. lot extra flavor, yeah. Okay. And so this is a vegetable stock, mm -hmm. and you can purchase this, or you can make your own, or you can even just use water, okay? And so we're going to give this a stir. It's going to come to a simmer. You're going to put the lid on it, and it's going to steam, depending on the kind of grain that you're using. could be anywhere from 20 minutes to 45 minutes. Okay. The barrel is going to take a little bit longer. But earlier, we prepared one that has um, bulgur wheat. So this was a really short preparation. Okay. So it's onion, garlic, um, stock, and bulgur wheat, and then we've garnished it with a little bit of um, green onion and parsley. So it's a great side dish. You can add maybe some sautéed tofu on top of this, some sautéed vegetables, maybe even a little bit of grilled chicken or fish or sautéed chicken and fish mm -hmm. to go on top of it. Wow. So that's the thing with your recipes. They're very easy to adapt. Very versatile. You can versatile. kind of throw something different in mm -hmm. there if you want to do that to adjust to your own palate. Right. Yeah. There you go. She's the expert. Good stuff. <laughs> this recipe and all of our other fantastic recipes you're going to find on our website. Check them out. KJRH.com. Chef Valerie, thank you. Thank you.